Thoughts of the day? Yes. Kiwi managed to plan the Airbnb very well. Wow, give me review one. Not bad, the host is very nice. Bali Duta, shout out Bali Duta. Hello, hello. So it's the end of day one. And there's a cockroach now under the bed. Uh, but we're still gonna sleep. Uh, Tsui and Ava are in the other room. For some reason, uh, every time I go overseas, my pimple breakout is like crazy. Pimple cream is back. Pimple cream is back, bitches. Heading over to Lombok uh, early in the morning tomorrow. And we'll be staying there for a couple of nights. Bye bye. Good morning, Bali. <laughs> Hello, so welcome to my Bali Lombok vlog and as I show you footages, I would like to also discuss the topic of what is the purpose in life. I think that the purpose of life is unique to each individual and that there is no one size fit all and no answer sheet to the purpose of life. <music> to kill the snail uh, I mean <laughs> snake but I didn't have any footage you can um, trust Abel's detailed reenactment then I carry right like, wow hey I can pull away then like, I see the black yeah. thing the thing then Tzu scream he say like hey what is that then the guy like he take the pull then he stay here and stay here he's just like <laughs> he's, uh, he's just I'm lost I first started questioning on a very surface level of what the purpose of life is probably when I was around 6 to 10 years old but it was definitely more of a passing thought and with daily distractions like school and other activities there was very little attention that was put into actually thinking what the purpose of life is and fast forward to the times where I actually put serious thought into questioning what the purpose of life is was during my army days which at that time I was probably around 20 to 22 years old so as contradicting as it sounds, army was such a hard time for me. I also have a lot of free time to think about things like the purpose of life. Yesterday was pretty fun, we went to the beach in the morning and then after that uh, we headed to Marissa Hill for sunset and then the sunset and the view there was like uh, crazy like there's like lots of waves and stuff basically like a 360 what's it called panorama view and so today we're gonna head to the gym
some people will say that if you have time to question what the purpose of life is, you're probably doing too little or you probably have too much free time on your hands. And while that is true, I don't think that it's a bad thing to have lots of free time and to question your existence because I would definitely rather question my existence as early as possible than to think about it, let's say 20 years later and realize that for the past 20 years, I've been doing nothing towards my purpose in life. Good morning, Lombok! Morning, Lombok! So, we are about to leave the villa. Um, Abel will be watching Overwatch now. Transition! <laughs> <laughs> Let me share with you everything I know on this topic and whatever I've discovered through my years of trying to find the purpose in life. So as of right now, I feel that there is really no true answer and it really feels like a Marco Polo game where you just keep shouting Marco but you'll never actually truly get a guarantee that you have found it. Hello, what's up guys? Hello, Lombok. Hello, Lombok. <laughs> Breathtaking view. Hey Sam, you're not fucking in front of me or fuck you. <laughs> so there's this theory about humans actually being a collective and not a single individual. So what this means is that me and you are actually part of the same network and we are basically the same organism or like person. And I thought that this theory was something that is very interesting and I think that somehow it helps to also get closer to finding the purpose in life which is to help others as much as you can and in turn you're kind of helping yourself and I feel like there is some purpose into helping others because it does give you joy and when you know that you're making other people happy and making the world a better place it does give you some sort of purpose and belonging to the world. We definitely also need to talk about money when talking about the purpose of life. So I think that money is something that is so shiny and so trappy that a lot of people will mistake for money to be the end goal. Because money is so easily convertible into basically anything that we tend to associate our worth with money. And of course, I know that there are things that have to be done. For example, if you have to feed your family, then you have to take that job. And there is purpose in providing for one's family for sure. It definitely covers the first part of having a bigger goal than yourself. But I think that true purpose should not be directly tied to money. There needs to be an underlying thing that you're solving. So I have not found a way to quantify exactly what the purpose of life is. But let me get as close to it as possible so that we can have a clearer picture of what we are actually talking about. Generally, when I think someone talks about what his purpose of life is, I think usually it comes from the standpoint of what should I spend my resources on. And to me, the most valuable resource a human can have is time. So until a day where we figure out a process to stop aging completely or reverse aging or even time travel, as of now, with my current knowledge, for every human, time is finite and once you lose it, you're never gonna get it back. Mm -hmm. 
so now that we have somewhat quantified purpose into where should I spend my time, now we should find out what we should spend our time on. And so whenever I decide to commit into something that is let's say one month long, one week long or even a year long, something of a decent commitment level where I have to put my time into it, I always ask myself these two questions and I think these two questions actually help to filter out a lot of the so-called useless activities that I don't want to spend my time on. So the first question I always like to ask myself is, is this bigger than myself? So in this question, it consists of a few elements of does this benefit other people other than myself? And the more people it can benefit, the better it is. So if it's something scalable, then definitely this is at the top of the list of something bigger than myself. And the second thing I like to ask myself is the thing I'm doing non-outcome dependent. And within this factor, I like to ask myself two questions also. The first one being, if I suck at it, will I still keep going? And the second one is, if I had a billion dollars in my bank account, would this be something that I would still be doing? So I think that these two questions really help me to figure out what I want to spend my time on. So anyways, I don't think that I found what I truly want to do on this earth just yet but I can tell you that everyone's purpose in life is totally different and you are the only one that will know what your purpose in life is and what you want your purpose in life to be. For me, whenever I do something that is for the money or is outcome dependent, I really have a hard time staying committed and doing it to the best of my abilities. And for the past few years, I have dabbled into many many different kinds of activities and things that I thought I wanted to do for the long term. But because I felt like all these things didn't align with my purpose in life or what I want my purpose in life to be, I eventually decided to stop doing all of those things and focus on things that I truly care about and I feel like will make a change in the world. Oddly enough, my answer is actually to just be myself. I try not to negotiate with what I truly want and I just let things be. After trying to create so many different types of online content, I realized that I just want to do what comes to mind. I just want to be myself and being myself makes me feel alive. And I'm not saying that it is, but maybe, just maybe, being myself is my purpose in life. I hope that I can stay true to myself and by being myself, I hope that more people will start to be themselves. I know I have not given you the answer to what the purpose in life is, but I think sometimes the right answer is actually to ask the right questions. And so I think the question we ask ourselves shouldn't be what does the world expect of me, but instead, what do I want to give the world? <laughs>